close your eyes and watch your breath, all the way in, all the way out. It's your ability to stick with it that makes, makes this something that has an impact on the mind, because you get to see things a lot more clearly. It's like walking along a path. If you allow your gaze to wander here, wander there, you pick up a little thing here, a little thing there. But you miss a lot of the details, and you miss a lot of the connections. But if you focus on the path all the way, you'll see things on the path that you otherwise wouldn't see. So if you were to really want to see something that makes a difference in your mind, try to be as continuous as possible as you can in your attention. All too often when the mind slips off, you don't know it's slipping off. It's after it's happened that you suddenly realize, oh, there was a blank in there. And it's hard to retrace how it happened. Well, how it happened is what you want to learn, what you want to explore. So the next time the mind gets ready to wander off, be prepared for it. It's going to wander off. But you want to see the steps. It's possible to do this. And that way you see things in your mind, many things you didn't want to see. That's why you kept closing them off. The mind tells itself, I'm here to meditate, but another part of the mind says, I'm going to do something else as soon as I can. And that other part's just as much you as the meditator, if you choose to make it you. And it's going to sneak in in moments of lapses of mindfulness. So you really got to be on top of things. I want to know these people in my mind and how they do their machinations, how they slip a burlap bag over my head and carry me off. Then after all, you see them coming at you with the burlap bag ready to go, and you don't have to get caught by it because you see them. That's when you're able to step out of your thoughts, and you're a lot more in charge then of where the mind is going to go. Otherwise, you're subject to everyone, anyone who wants to kidnap you. Somebody takes you, throws you in a burlap bag, throws you off someplace, you get there and you're just beginning to get your get your bearings, and somebody else comes off with another burlap bag and steals you off someplace else. You've got to see these people coming, and you've got to learn how to sidestep them. And one of, one of the ways of doing that is to stay as continually with the breath as you can, because as long as you're with the breath, you're in the present moment. It's when we move our frame of reference from the present moment that they can sneak up on us. So as long as your frame of reference is continuous, you're safe, and you're in a position where you can see them as they come, and you begin to realize, well, this is how the mind does this. The other way to get around this problem is that as soon as you realize that you've, been, you've slipped off, immediately come back to the breath. Don't spend some time wandering around in this other place. That way you get more and more quick about realizing, oh, it's happened, it's happened, back to the breath, back to the breath. And that also allows you to see a lot of the steps in the process of how you slip off and establish yourself in a new world. So you attack it from both ends, before it happens and right after it happens, and try to get closer and closer to the moment when it happens. And then you realize you're in a position where you can say, no, and you're right there with the breath. That's when you're in control. <laughs>